Good day there my fellow royal fans in today's headline. Royal biographer Angela Levin discussed the news that Camilla would become queen consort when Prince Charles ascends the throne and looked at other royal family members and how they would be suited for the role. Eamon Holmes asked whether there was a lesson the Duchess of Sussex could learn from Camilla before Miss Levin chuckled and called it a very good question. The royal expert believed Meghan had a desire to constantly prove herself, which goes against working as a team, which is required by the royal family. Miss Levin explained, I think the Duchess of Sussex has a very different personality. Camilla comes from a solid background. She had parents who loved each other and brought her up in a very easy way. I think the Duchess of Sussex needs to prove herself non-stop, to take on everything she possibly can because she needs to be there in the front and is not somebody who wants to work as a team. Whereas Camilla doesn't want to put herself out there. She has to win and we've seen this with all these legal charges. She's a very difficult woman, Meghan is I think. The Queen wrote in a statement marking her jubilee on Sunday, when in the fullness of time my son Charles becomes king, I know you will give him and his wife Camilla the same support that you have given me. However, the announcement of Camilla becoming Queen Consort has garnered criticism. As it had been expected, she would only become Princess Consort out of respect for Princess Diana. Royal journalist Jack Royston reflected on the Queen's announcement and its impact on public opinion. He said, I've got absolutely nothing against Camilla. This isn't about how she does the job. She does the job well, and she's highlighted some really good causes. The point here is that the public doesn't want it. The numbers are really clear. They might be less forceful in their opinion now than when they were in the past. But 44% of people want her to be Princess Consort rather than Queen Consort. And 14% want her to be Queen Consort. So that is really, really stark and clear in terms of where public opinion lies. I think it's also really important to think back a little bit to what was kind of going on at the time that this decision was originally made. The charge against her back in the days of Princess Diana was that they were emotionally indifferent to Diana, that she was suffering and that they didn't care. So removing that now leaves them once again more vulnerable to the allegation of emotional indifference. A lot to take in there. What do you guys think? Leave your comments below, like the video and subscribe to the channel for more royal content. Goodbye for now.